Hi guys, Azza WF1 here. Welcome along. We're in the car recording an intro video to this quite interesting video. And we're going to have a look at some ideas that I really think could help improve F1 Clash. They're not all the ideas and they're not going to please everybody, but it's just my take on what ideas Hutch could introduce to make gameplay and racing more enjoyable. I want to know in this video what you think of my suggestions and any suggestions that you believe down below. So make sure you let me know what you think because Hutch read these comments so it'd be very interesting to see and make them aware of what you do think. They are not polished pictures, they are not polished videos, they are simple thumbnails that I will share with you current versus idea and then if Hutch ever use them they'll be in a lot better looking than mine are because it is a quick win quick video so let's get into some of these ideas show you what we've got and what i think and why stay tuned stay to the end and let's have a look what we could introduce into f1 clash if we could so let's hit the big elephant in the room of f1 clash at the moment and it comes from the reward side of the game so you've played some difficult gps you've got a good result and you're tired of getting them terrible rewards. This is how it is at the moment, currently. You get what the game picks you, basically, and you can't change that reward whatsoever. Now, let's think of the idea which I've taken from FIFA games, and it happens quite regularly. Let's say we get a player pick, is what they're actually called, but let's say, in this case, a driver or a part pick. So what I suggest for is that when you get your crate reward for your GP results, you actually get to pick one of three possible choices. So you can see in here, at the moment, I would be picking one of these parts or drivers. So you're not necessarily just picking and getting handed an automatic random one. Now you'll get three random ones, but at least you get to pick the most favourable option. So it gives you a bit better choice. And remember, this is just an idea. This is nothing confirmed by Hutch. But I would like to see a player pick, so in terms of drivers or parts, and we actually get to pick one or three, one or three, to make your choices a lot more better. Now, we also know that if you're playing Champions GP and you're getting a reward at the end of it, that it could be anything from Series 1 to 12. If you're playing Contender, anything from Series 1 to 9, Challenger 1 to 6, Junior 1 to 3. So, obviously, the more difficult GP you go into, the more range of parts or drivers that you possibly could get. So, you could get a Series 1 for coming first in a Champions GP, which seems a little bit unfair. Now, this is going to cause plenty of debate but here's my initial idea of how they can improve it. Welcome to my rewards via series of GP you enter. So junior rewards will still be one to three. Challenger though will go from two to six. So we take out that series one reward. If you're racing in contender, which is usually around series nine, we're going to say unlockables series four to nine so yet again taking out the very early parts of the game and if you're racing in champion you will earn rewards of series six or series between six and twelve now that doesn't necessarily mean you're going to instantly get series 12 you could get anywhere but the aim of this reward change for me is that you eliminate getting anything really low series. There is nothing worse than getting a series one, two, and it doesn't help you. So as well as the idea to pick a part or a driver out of three, I'd love to see these reward series differences for GPs going forward. We then currently have your GP groupings. So we actually know at the moment that your GP group is determined by what green flag, so your season high flags, are. So if you're at 12,000, you're going to get players around the 12,000. If you're at 1,000, you're going to get players, give or take a few hundred, around that mark as well. So this is what was known as keeping low flags. This is where the exploits come from, including myself and many of the players, that we know that if players go to Series 12, they tend to struggle. That is not an unfair comment. So... To stop players going from series one, two, three, we've got a different idea of how to group your GP groups. 
and this is how I want it to be. So I want groups to be done via team score. So not just you don't upgrade your drivers, but we all know that when you go onto the main GP screen, it gives you your team score against the recommended for GP. Now that takes into account your unlocks and level up and it gives you your highest possible team score. So I want that to be done the same for GP groups, basically meaning that I will be grouped together with loads of people who are around the same GP team score and it means it'll be a really, really competitive group. Now, there is negatives to this. People will turn around and say to us, but what about if players keep their team score really low, they'll get easier groups. That is something that would have to be factored in. There is also nothing stopping people getting into a group like that and then going dropping £500 on a Sunday and being a lot better than everyone else. That still happens today. But what I would just like to do is even just bring that competition a lot closer so that it does mean that players move up to get their team score higher and they match off with people who are genuinely around the same skill sets. If even if you've got a player who stays low team score, they are still battling with people who are low team score at the very same time. We've got the matchmaking range. So we all know at the moment that you can race anybody up to around 10% of your own team score. It can even be 150s, 160s for a lot of people sometimes. And it is or feels pretty much impossible to win. So we want to change the 10% range down. Now, what do we want to reduce that 10% to? What is my idea? To keep player enjoyment, reduce it down to 5%. That means every single race will be a lot more winnable or closely fought than it was before. None of this starting miles back on the grid because your rival has a higher team score. Every race is going to be closer. The negative side, 5% means we're going to get a lot more bots. But I want you to ask you the question, what is more enjoyable? Facing a real player who's so much better or facing a pot bot that gives you a difficult test, but you can still overcome. Remember, do let me know down below what you think and what suggestions you have. Another suggestion, and I know it's not going to look like this, but this is just for simple terms. I'd love to see some daily and weekly challenges applied in F1 Clash. So daily races could be win 10 races and you get some bucks. Overtake 50 cars you could earn some coins. And then you've got weekly challenges. Win 50 races, you might get a platinum crate. Earn 3,000 race points, you might get a legendary crate. And this is so on. This could be daily, weekly, monthly challenges, and it gives more opportunity for the players to earn. It gives you all something to race jewels for, knowing that if you score 3,000 points, you're going to get a nice legendary crate. So I'd love to see some sort of motivation to go and earn and unlock more in the game i definitely think challenges would be a very very good way and are actually found in commonly most games so bring on some challenges i say next up is a club v club idea and specifically more around what happens with a club versus club idea and how it could work now we're looking at a game here and you might be familiar with this this is clash of clans now, what happens in Clash of Clans is you get a load of teams who fight each other and they get a set map, let's say, and everybody gets two attempts to fight that map and defeat that map. Basically, whoever gets the most stars and wins, wins it overall with the club. Now, the same applies here for F1 Clash, but what we'd do is we'd have loads of tracks. We might have, I don't know, 10 tracks and you've got to go and score the most points on them tracks. So you might only have two attempts and you have to target each of them tracks. So you pick the two you want to attack. and The aim will be, be that your players try and score as many points with their attempts on each track as they can. If all teams use up all their attacks or track attempts, then it's highest points overall wins. I don't know how they would do it on difficulty, they could give you the set amount to use. They could set a really hard AI difficulty. They could start you from the back. But I would love to see some sort of club v club where you actually try and beat an opponent 
via score. So that's what I'd love to see. It is based off a Clash of Clans model, but there's not many out there. So maybe we could have something where we face a club and we do go against them based on who can earn the most points in individual races. And finally, we're going to probably put on one of the most requested ideas out there. Pick a track and play a friend. So this happens in Clash of Clans. You can fight each other. And I know we keep going back to it, but I haven't actually played that game for 10 years. But you could literally pick, right, let's practice on Imola. I'll give you a race, see if this setup works. Uh, you can have a bit of fun and it'll really bring clubs and players together. And you simply can just go and race your friends. I think loads of people would really like that implemented. I don't see why it would be too hard to actually put into the game. But I'm not a designer. I'm not a developer. I just sit here and record some content listening to my own drowning voice every single day. But I'd love to pick a track and play a friend so we can practice with each other and make that club side a lot more interesting and fun. So they are some of the ideas that I feel would be great additions to F1 Clash. We haven't touched on the gameplay. We can do that in separate videos. I'm not going to bore you for hours on end. But let me know down below what you think of some of my suggestions to F1 Clash improvements. And let me know down below what you think. And I'll try to feature some of the best ideas in some upcoming videos in the future. So let me know down below. Hit the like button. Different type of video this one. But all the best, we try and keep the improvements and suggestions coming.